Everything you've heard about the KISS years and the KISS stage shows and the spectacle is true. It's not a legend. We're going to show every new band how the big boys do it. This, yeah. to me, is the most off the soundboardy of the four as well, too. Yes. So, like, for what this series is, this is the one that embodies it the best for me. The, I was going to say that if we're judging it just simply off the off the soundboard and it's not sourced from the audio, like I've been kind of poking yeah. at, like, oh, I can find audio, but it's the same mm -hmm. for it. Th this is a thing in and of itself, and Paris is a thing in and of itself, but for different sound qualities. This is the epitome of what off the soundboard is. It's its own thing. There's no corresponding piece to it. It's its its thing. So it almost got a number one spot for me because it is the truest sense of what the off the soundboard is. Take that. No, Listen, kidding. that's but a great I love point. Tokyo, so I can't. <laughs> that's a great point. I guess the next question is what's next? What's next? And could there be something that could move our needle? Is there, you know, uh, what, what would it be? I mean, what, I, 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 first of all, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess we really, we think there's one more, right? At least one more, maybe two. It's weird if there would only be one more too, like how, like it just, you've got the seventies, you've got the nineties, you've got two in the two thousands, two thousands, just, there's no rhyme or reason. It's bizarre. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. that's why, mm -hmm. and there's no, why, there's no eighties representation. No, yeah, no, no yeah. non-makeup. Where's, I, where's Culet Carr? Where's, I get the feeling too, that I, again, I don't have any sources. So I'm going to put this right out there. I just have, there may be some people we talk to that know a little bit and stuff, but the general consensus I get is that the eighties are not on the radar, which is, which I don't understand. Yeah, I, that's, that's a little bizarre to me. I mean, Rob, you've got 87, you've got the crazy nights, you've got the hits. Hot in the shade alone. I, yeah. I would have thought of got <clears> release. A you know? Animalized tour because there's between <sighs> animalized and asylum. They did radio. I mean, Actually, almost all of the 80s shows, there was some radio presence where we have the Ritz thing mm. that had a beautiful radio broadcast. I'm sure they maybe don't own it, but come on, there's other is it, shows. Is it weird that there really hasn't been like a press release either like or a, a spokesperson kind of come out and say, this is this new series? And I'll give you an example. Like, the Rolling Stones have put, been putting out from the vault material for years, mm -hmm. but they've done various press releases and said, and pretty much told you the eras and not in the order, mm -mm. but said, you know, we're going to give you Steel Wheels, Bridges to Babylon, Voodoo Lounge, uh, you know, Tattoo You. I mean, so like, it's just strange to me that they're, it's just kind of a, and maybe that's what makes it fun too. You don't know what's coming, but yeah, there's a couple ways know. to look at it. Like you just said, there's, you know, when you don't know it's fun, they also get you with that element in a surprise where you think it might be the last one or you think you have to get this one or if True. we want more, we have to buy this one. But then yeah. the other side of it, <laughs> but then the other side of it though, is if they say them all, it's like they're damned if they do or they're damned if they don't. Cause if they start announcing all the ones they're going to do, then people are preemptively, you know, I'm going to get this one, not that one. Right. Um, no, I'm not saying announce, just say, hey, we're going to cover all eras. No, yeah. Gonna, I do think there's, you know, we are going to hit the 80s. We're going to do that. You know, I, to, I don't know. To answer your question, though, like what would move a big needle for this? It would have to be two things. It, it would have to be one that sounds great and it would have to be a really, unique one but what's because yeah. like we said well something in the 80s but it doesn't sound like that yeah but like like you said we have a lot of good sounding live stuff now from a live 35 on so i don't want anything in that window because yeah. i have it and that will mm -hmm. be uninteresting to me um i know we have theories and people who say there there's probably going to if they were to do another one it would be this current lineup right so you go okay there's only a certain amount of time that that existed for and the types of shows there i mean if you got like a freedom the rock one that's unique well let me throw this because out there let's just throw this out. on there when they let's all pick really quick like and again we'll, we'll laugh about this but if you if you knew there were two more and that was it like what would you guys like what two would you want like i'll start it right off the bat 
I want a show. I, I, I want to show with take me a real live take me okay. like from the lost alive tapes. And I, I, maybe that's going to be official some point for a live mm-hmm. too, but that would be a little bit left of my Holy grail would be to have the Detroit rock city opener and then the take followed me. by the take me. Maybe. Yes. I would like that. My second one would be, I still want another reunion show where I could get rock bottom. I stole your love and especially New York groove and Beth. My third one would be freedom to rock to get a live flaming youth. You literally said two and then you just named three. Did I name three? I'm sorry. I named three. So I'm greedy. So that's you're greedy. Yeah. You greedy bastard. Nowhere in there. Did I mention the eighties, but I would buy every one of them, but I'm just telling you right now, if they, if that's all that I could get, that would move the needle for me. Rob, how about you? It, Hat has to be an 80s show at least yeah. one i feel like once they put the makeup on the fact that we got revenge 30th anniversary really surprises me this year that it got a vinyl treatment it got shirts it it, it got stuff and crazy nights went by i went like mm, should probably be thankful we they acknowledged revenge yeah. that being said you can't not do a series like this and not honor eric carr in some way i know it's on the creatures box set and that i'm glad they're doing that but this needs some Eric Carr love. So I, I don't even care what it is. Hits to me would be the biggest thing because it's going to cover a wide range. You're going to get all the hot in the shade stuff and then a lot of classic stuff, which they're leaning on. And so that I Store Your Love open that show. I yeah. Store Your Love yeah, opens that show. Open yeah. That show. So that checks off, I think, a lot of boxes for Kiss. You have a classic show and it was one of their biggest shows that they had done in, in quite some time and then man i I'd, I'd probably be greedy again like something from unmasked yeah that's fair you know, I, doing I, I, ace freely eric carr again doing something from australia like the the kiss stereo name came from the australian shows so those would be my two i would want and an 80s uh, 80s Eric Carr show probably leaning towards Hot in the Shade, and then something from Australia because that was that was huge. That would give us um, is that you? That would yeah. give us talk to uh, me. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Um, Shandy would be in there. Plus, you got you get New York Groove um, and you know, a bunch of other stuff. And getting to hear Eric Carr do Black Diamond would be great. Mm-hmm. Rob got you. You, got, yeah. you both have kind of one of mine. So Rob doing the Australia one. One of those ones with, you know, talk to me is that you, um, like a better version of those Auckland book, like, cause there's oh, a couple yeah. of tracks from that, but like something like that, because those shows were kind of fun. Um, and they did some cool songs on those. And for another one, I would I, just to say that we should probably get an eighties one, but to, to say something different, I wouldn't mind because I still have the mindset from the rumor of it would be this current lineup is like I wouldn't mind if we got like when they were touring with Def Leppard because even though it's a shorter set, they open up with Psycho Circus and then they do Hotter Than Hell and Hydra Heart. Hydra Heart, yeah. So that's a cool, that's, that's a You're cool, right. it, it's, it was only like 14 or 15 songs they play, but it's a cool, it, <clears> they <throat> did like Creatures of the Night slash Parasite in like the fourth spot. Like it was a cool show. That It was a kind of a more, it was little a cool variety. To yeah, that it was a little, list. yeah, yeah um so yeah an outlier for me would be something like a convention tour or uh, an audio from like once the kiss cruise is wrapped up they would do a a best of the kiss cruise or you just said something what if where does the kiss cruise go uh that's a question because the little nugget you know that's what what, yeah that's what i'm saying what if it's a kiss cruise show south america i don't know yeah what if it's a kiss cruise show i think the the that would be very unique what's cool here is that like we all like pick like different stuff so yeah there's still a lot more that they could do watch it be really boring no disrespect to the band and it's like (laughs) dubai or like an alive 35 show yeah, I and you're just like that. wow. Yeah, yeah. we're in, right. we're yeah, in South America. That, <laughs> yeah, awesome. somewhere in South America. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I just hope we get more. 
And I hope that this series goes on for a long time because yeah. I, I think it's fun. Me, and, me being uh, picky, my last comment on it, I would like one from every decade that you can look I, through. I, I got 70s that. and 80s, 90s, 2000s. 2000 whatever sprinkled in the middle yeah but you covered the history of each formation of the band you know every tour happy. every tour would be great too i mean yeah yeah you know from what they have you know obviously i mean i'm not saying they're gonna go back to 75 i'm not i'm not saying that but listen do one from every tour have some fun with it yeah 